Hey, what's up everyone? And yes, that's right. Today I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of your Quest 3. Featuring the best uh, tips, tricks and hidden features that will level up the headset. Such as extending your screens, using cloud gaming, boosting the performance of your headset and so much more. Stay tuned. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Enjoy! For example, did you know you can invite your friends over to your actual house? Well, all you gotta do to make this happen is invite them through your friends list, turn on the pass-through and voila, they will appear inside your living room. The Quest 3 is known for running out of juice pretty fast and that's why I would recommend you to extend it with a battery strap. I can personally recommend the M3 Pro by Bobo VR and this strap allows you to magnetically snap an additional battery to the back and as a bonus significantly improves the comfort and has a flip up visor. How handy! If you have let's say family coming over and want to show them what you see inside uh, the Quest then you can choose to stream your gameplay to a mobile phone, computer or TV. This feature is called uh, casting and depending on where you want to share it to can be activated inside the Quest's uh, menu or through the mobile app. Either way a great tool to have people join in on the phone. When you simply can't get enough of playing games there is a hidden store under the name App Lab that lets you explore even more titles. It allows developers to publish games on the Quest that are work in progress that you can then test. These can only be found by using the search bar in the store but luckily someone created a list of all games available so you know what you're looking for. You can find this page in the video's description. When you are mostly diving into high intensity experiences chances are you've already hit something out of excitement. And I don't blame you. Next to wearing wrist straps it's also smart to have a reminder of where you are in your play space. Staying centered is key to keeping your TV and furniture alive. I would recommend looking into a floor mat like you have in the bathroom or what I'm using, a proxy mat made specifically for intense VR sessions. Custom home environments are a thing too of course. You can pick from a variety of fantastic looking environments from Star Trek to Super Mario and Minecraft to Marvel. Everything is present and these are sadly not standardly available on Quest and need to be downloaded through SideQuest. I made a handy tutorial that shows you exactly how to do it in a few simple steps. Again there is a link in the description below. When you haven't played a game for more than 2 hours, officially you are entitled to a refund. This only applies if you really aren't happy with a specific title and make this request within 14 days after purchase. You can start this process in the settings of your phone app. For the completionists out there, each game has its own achievements. You can even compare yours to others to find out how you're doing. These can be found by selecting your favorite title in your library and clicking on achievements. Or just use the phone app, that's also an option. What's cool as well is that you can double tap the side of your headset to quickly turn on pass through. This can be useful when you want to grab a quick drink or check if there aren't any burglars in the house. Just double tap again when you want to return to glorious virtual reality. If you want to earn free cash to spend on games you can make use of Meta's referral system. Simply go to the store, choose your game and generate a link that you can share with anyone you want. And when someone then buys it they receive a 25% discount and you receive $5 store credit. It's that easy. When you own a fast computer or laptop you can connect it to your Quest and play PC VR games wirelessly. This feature is known as AirLink and can be turned on in the headset settings. It's amazing what you can play on it and definitely lets you experience the cutting edge of VR gaming. Not that long ago I created a guide that tells you exactly how to set it up. A link to that can be found in the description too. Oh yes, this might sound ridiculous but there have been folks out there who found spiders in their headsets, with the most famous example being YouTuber Markiplier. As long as you don't live in Australia I don't think you have to worry you're going to have a spider eat out your eyeballs. But I would still check every nook and cranny of your headset 
just to make sure. Want to take a quick screenshot or record a clip? Then all you have to do is hold the meta button on your right controller, followed up with pressing the trigger. This is super handy for when you want to keep playing and while doing so capturing the most action packed moments. After you're done you can select them on your phone and upload them straight to social media. When you have Xbox Game Pass, you can play your favorite titles on your Quest by just streaming them to the headset from the cloud. You connect your controller over Bluetooth and then you can start jumping into the best of the best the subscription has to offer. Welcome to the future. Did you know that all the official games and experiences you can play on the store have a comfort rating? If you are just starting out or are sensitive to motion sickness, then it's a good idea to keep an eye out for these. As you can see, there are four ratings in total and depending on which one you can handle, you can make a purchase. To find this, you open the store of the game you're interested in and by going to details, you will be able to figure out if it's on your level or not. If you want, you can customize your Quest avatar with a bunch of different outfits from well-known brands and more. Some are free and others paid and you can show these off in apps such as Horizon Worlds and others that support Meta's character system. In any case, there is plenty to choose from. On Quest, you can start out with one screen in front of you, but you can drag and drop any app to your left and right to get a nice overview of everything that is important to you personally. A lot of people make the mistake to clean their lenses and cameras with a paper towel or shirt. This does more harm than good, so always make sure to use a lens wipe when things get dirty. Let's say you are on your way home and want to play a game with a friend soon after, then you can set up a party up front. In the mobile app, tap on the person you want to invite and select the title you want to dive into. If they accept it, you will get a message and you can start chatting. Personally, I find this uh, next tip immersion breaking, but you can bring your phone's notifications into the headset. Useful for when you receive a text message or are being called outside of VR. You can enable this in the settings on mobile and again, you have been warned, it does kind of ruin your gaming experience. If you got sensitive eyes like me, you can turn down the brightness but also activate a night mode, which unlocks a nice quiet tint. I mostly use this during late hours, right before I go to bed, to give my eyes some space to breathe. Next to controlling your headset with hand tracking, you can also choose to use your voice. You can ask it to launch a game or go to a certain page. It's good to know that this feature is only available in North America and surprise surprise can be found in the settings. A well kept secret is that you can bring your laptop or PC's screens into your physical space. Immersed is definitely the go to app to transform your quest into a scene that could have come straight out of Minority Report. You can use it to watch uh, movies, be productive or play the most epic video games ever. You can also count your steps and calories while playing games. To start tracking these, all you have to do is dive into the MetaQuest Move app and will then give you all the information you need. And last but certainly not least, you can tweak your Quest games and boost the graphics quality, improve smoothness, battery life and performance. This may sound like witchcraft but can be done through an unofficial app called Quest Games Optimizer. If you're interested in pushing your headset to the limit, then this is a must download. I will make sure there's a link in the description. And there you go my friends, those were all the tips that I wanted to share today. Thank you so much for watching, until next time and bye bye for now.